Hi guys. In this lesson, we are going to generate a PWM signal. It is very useful in many applications such as motor control, light control and DC-DC converters. You can generate PWM signal on many pins. It depends on your decision. You can see and reserve it by left clicking on the pin. In this example, I want to use timer 1. As you can see, it turns orange. After select the internal clock as clock source, I have selected channel 1 and enable PWM signal on that channel. Now it turns green, it means it is now activated. I want to generate a 10 kHz PWM. My timer frequency is 170 MHz. So, I can set the prescaler to 169 to give a resolution of 1 microsecond. I need 100 pulses to generate 10 kHz. Leave other settings to default and generate the project. Now, open main.c and write the code. We need to start PWM with the selected channel. After executing this function, PWM is generated on the output. But we did not set the PWM value. By default it is zero. We can change it and generate a signal. We can do it with this function. Now at the output, we can see the 50% PWM signal. Now, I compile and program the project. As you can see, the signal is correct. Also, you can set more than one channel for timer. Now I want to activate channel 2. This channel works with the same frequency, but you can adjust the duty cycle. I set channel 1 to 20% and channel 2 to 80%. After program, you can see the result. Yes. Now we have two PWM signals with different duty cycle. You can stop the PWM signal at any time. I want to stop channel 1 after 100 milliseconds. Now, you can see the result. This was a simple PWM example. In this example, we want to use DMA to generate changeable PWM by a table. Open CubeMX to add DMA. Click on Add button and select Channel 1 and select Direction Memory to Peripheral, because we want write a table from memory to PWM. 
and change the data width to Word. I want to use the circular mode to regenerate the signal after completion. Press the Generate button and open main.c. Now, I create an array with whatever values I want. Each value represents my PWM value after one cycle. I write start DMA function. Now watch the result after compiling and programming. As you can see, the duty cycle changes automatically. I hope this lesson was useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel and support me on social media.